Hello beautiful souls and welcome back. Today we are comparing these two oracle decks. We have the Witch's Wisdom Oracle Cards, real version, versus the Witch's Wisdom fake version. So now this one retails for $23.99 US. This one you can find on knockoff sites like Wish, AliExpress, you can find them on eBay. Um, this ranges anywhere from, say, $4 up through $10 on average. Depending on where you buy them from, you're going to get different prices. But today I wanted to show you a side-by-side -side comparison of this deck, okay? So this is the Witch's Wisdom Oracle Cards. I want to point out, this is created by Barbara Michael Meckeljohn, sorry if I'm saying that wrong, Meckeljohn Free, Flavia Kate Peters, and illustrated by Richard Crooks, okay? That is important. These are the people who put their time and energy into creating this deck. This deck, no credit at all. Oh, actually it does a little bit of credit there for the authors, but this is a stolen copy of this. This is not real, okay? So this deck comes in this beautiful hard-sided box. This is just a cheap flip box, okay? You can already see the color variation. The color on this box is so much deeper, so much more saturated than this, okay? This has lots of beautiful imagery on the sides. This is just black, though the side is correct with the name. There's clearly more information on the legit version. That's the other side. So let's open up these boxes. Inside the real version, you get a beautiful guidebook with lots of information, which is wisdom, which is foresight, and then the card revealed. Very beautiful. This, you don't get the guidebook. You can scan this QR code, go to a website, get a copy of this, a fake copy against copyright version of it, but you don't get the actual guidebook, okay? And as always, cards always stick in this, okay? So let's put that out of this the way, this out of the way, and here we have a size comparison of the actual cards. These are much larger. These are actually a little bit larger than a standard oracle size card. These are, I don't even know what size you would call that, small. I have small hands. I do appreciate this small size. If oracle cards came in this size, I wouldn't complain. Um, but again, you can see the color variation between the real and the fake. This one also in general looks a lot blurrier. If you look at the detail and say the different stars, this looks a lot blurrier than this. This looks like a star that's radiating. This just kind of looks blurry, okay? Especially like these background stars here. Um, let me hold it up to the camera so you can see the difference between that little blob and that well-defined star, okay? The cardstock on this it's very nice. It's flexible, but it's rigid at the same time. Like, I don't feel like um, I'm going to crease this cards or they're going to break in any way. This is super flexible. They feel like they're going to crease. Um, and I also want to take a moment to show the gilding on the side of these. Okay. The real one, it almost looks like a mirror finish. It is beautifully done. This looks like they took some really cheap craft store silver paint and painted it on the side. These right out of the box, um, I do have the review for this deck. It'll be linked up above. Um, they split and shuffled beautifully right out of the box. 
these cards, I literally had to go through and snap them apart. They were stuck together. Um, I don't have a review. Oh, look at that. I just, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I went to kind of do the same thing I was doing to these cards. And instead, I basically bent that card. Um, these cards just stuck together. Sorry about that. Stuck together in a horrible, horrible way. These cards also, for the longest time, left glitter on my hands. It seems that they have, nope, there's still some glitter on my hands. But these, these also give you a terrible paper cut. Terrible. Like, you don't want a paper cut from this. It hurts. Trust me. So, let's get into the real reason you are here. What do these cards look like side by side? Okay? Taking the time to go through and actually match up the cards. So, here we go. Again, the real cards, very deep, saturated color. Uh, the fake ones, in terms of fake cards that I have seen, these are actually well done. But when you do put them side by side, you can see how faded this actually looks and how blurry it looks. Okay, so there's the Awakening card, the Stability card, Moon familiar. And now sometimes when you get the fake decks, you'll have things like this. This card is very green. This one is quite brown, which is interesting because, I mean, these are both very green. They're very similar. They're not quite exact, but they're very similar. Some fake decks have a huge discrepancy in terms of the way that the color is presented on the cards. Um, this one's not bad, but it's pretty noticeable in this card, okay? In terms of the oranges, they're pretty good. The blues are pretty good, so it's more just the browns that are off. Again, this one is a lot more rich in tone. This is, it looks like they just didn't have the same quality printer, which makes sense. So, hand fasting, the spell card. And I'm not going to go through every single card, because I think you get the idea already. Again, a lot more desaturated, not even so much desaturated, just faded looking when compared to the original card. Okay, so in terms of fake cards, the printing of the images, or however they photograph them or scan them, is not terrible but the actual quality of the card is not very good. Um, another thing that is interesting about these is the way they're cut. Um, you can see there's a lot more border on this side. This side is pretty much cut off. Um, there is also more on the bottom and top, so they've kind of zoomed in a little bit. But these ones, you can also see the variation in color when you fan them out and you look just at the border. So like that card really stands out to me. I don't know if it will on camera. That card really stands out and you can actually see like these are still stuck together even though I took a lot of time to separate them all just for this video. Um, big difference, these cards are different color than these cards. Again, there's a bunch stuck together. Um, these cards also, just because of the gilding on the edges, are not pleasant to handle. They are not. I bought this deck, tried to pull them apart, gave up on it, put it on a shelf for almost a year, um, and then I've slowly taken the time to like pull them apart, but it's... I have never used this deck for a reading, despite having it for a very long time. This, now that I've done this side-by-side -side review, will go into my scrapbooking art journaling box, and these will become a nice addition to my tarot journals. Um, if you haven't seen that, I will link it up above, okay? Um, and now to compare, I'll just leave it like that. These cards, you see how nice and uniform those are? There is one card, that one, that has a slight difference in color, 
but otherwise they are very uniform. So I don't know why, considering these were such, I don't want to say such good copies, but that's what they are. These were such good copies, so I don't know why the variation in the edges was so apparent. I mean, there is some difference, but it's not as apparent as that card to the one beside it. And this had a lot more obvious ones, but again, um, these are so much more pleasant to work with. They shuffle a lot nicer. The gilding on the edge, I'm trying to show the camera, um, the gilding on the edge of these is absolutely beautiful, and it doesn't feel like there's anything here. This feels like there's something on the edge of the card, and it, it literally hurts your hands to shuffle. Now, I do have, as you can see, I have eczema, so my hands are a little bit more sensitive to abrasive surfaces, and that's exactly what those are. So, I mean, yes, the cards are beautiful if you want to use them in like an art journal. This might be the way to go, but if you actually want to shuffle them and use them, these feel terrible to the touch. Buy the real version, unless you're just buying them for a craft. <laughs> so that is my comparison of the witches. So that is my comparison of the Witch's Wisdom Oracle Cards Real versus Fake. If you enjoyed this video, I have a bunch of other ones in this series, and I will link the playlist up above, as well as in the description box. Love, light, and happiness to all of you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day. Bye.